This video is sponsored by ABC Leisure Group for everything to do with canal boats, marina moorings, hire boating, brokerage, chandleries and off-grid electrical equipment. Hello! In the last video I introduced you to narrowboat Ferris, the most extraordinary hand-built canal boat I've ever seen, with steampunk controls and its engine in the galley. And we also met its companion boat, Rivets 5000. We took both boats for a run and this is the record of that trip. Here's Edwin, the genius inventor of the boats. We left Horn Basin and turned left. Well you have to, it's a dead end otherwise. The rain started and persisted for most of the trip. Almost immediately we approached Gosty Hill Tunnel. It's wide enough just for one boat and it's very shallow, to the point where we barely moved, Ferris having quite a deep draught of around three feet. Still it got us out of the rain. Yes, those are diesel fumes, crunchy and delicious. When we emerged it was still raining solidly. The sound was actually very relaxing. That's Dan and David Fasham at the back, Edwin's nephews. I'm going to let this rain sound play out for a bit. Does anyone know what those transmitters are? I tried looking on a map but couldn't work it out. There's an interesting bit of art coming up next. It's sort of Banksy-esque but as a sculpture on the end of graffiti rather than graffiti itself. You see where the paint ends the model of the man picks up and it says Toll Man was here, referring to the old brick building which was a toll office, charging the old working boats as they came by. Little glimpses of the grim real world remind you that the canals are an entirely nicer place. I stepped off the boat to admire it and the surroundings from the towpath. Ah, there's Rivets. You'll see it in action soon. The chimney harks back to this area's highly industrial past and there are some rather nice signs telling you all about it.
This is a toll bar, another spot where boats would have been weighed and charged. The canal splits four ways here. Ahead is now just a stub of what used to be a loop. Ferris turned left to continue along the Dudley No. 2 canal. There's a little cafe here for a nature reserve conservation group. That's Joshua Fasham sitting at the back, David's son. I hope you're keeping up. This boat is very much a family affair. Needless to say, in this rain, very few other boats were moving. We came past Withymore Island, some rather lovely moorings, as I was to discover a week later when I stayed here overnight. Our destination was to be Parkhead Basin, but we'd have to go up three locks to get there. Blackbrook Junction used to be a shortcut on the canal, but was closed after mining subsidence over a hundred years ago. Instead, we continued on the old route up towards Parkhead. And there is Parkhead Bottom Lock, which Dan is scampering towards in order to set it ready for Ferris and Rivets to come in. Water out. boat in. There's just enough space for the both of them. You'd not think these were fully closed gates, would you? Another one for the Canal and River Trust's leaky list. Up comes Ferris and out towards the middle lock of the three. Fifteen minutes later and Ferris had made it up to the basin. There's a tunnel at the end that you can't go through without booking in advance and it wasn't part of our plan for the day. Rather, David and Joshua were going to have a play in rivets. It does look alarmingly like it's going to sink itself at the back, but apparently it doesn't. Funny how such a tiny boat can have such a massive wake, and it's a wake-up call for the wildlife. We headed back the way we'd come. This cutting was once a tunnel fully enclosed, but got opened out.
considering you're in the middle of a very built-up urban area, it's remarkably tranquil and green. But that tranquility was about to be shattered. Yes, here comes rivets, not a quiet boat by any standards. And no wonder the crew wear ear defenders. It's the hot hatch of the waterways. With a consistent four miles an hour easily achievable, that being the canal limit, it's no wonder rivets would be such a strong competitor at the 30-hour marathon BCN challenge a few weeks later, a video about which I have coming soon. They went on ahead while we plodded on serenely, turning right at the four-way junction. An island in the middle of the canal is the perfect safe spot for a nest. Clever bird. And here the journey came to an end, turning back into Horn Basin, run by a community trust. I hope you enjoyed this trip. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.